is disappointed. After all, DOE failed to learn from past mistakes, as this isn't the first time Governor Eddie Cavill has had to request for a deadline extension to obligate ERA funds. Measure twice, cut once. If we would just learn how to do it properly, and do it properly, we would only have to do it once, as opposed to issuing it, reissuing it. Of the $60 million in ERA, $50.1 million will go toward capital improvement projects, and $10 million will go toward science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, otherwise known as STEM, upgrades. To date, only $14 million of the CIP money has been executed with $22.8 million in early stages of the procurement process. You, These Matthew. figures left legislators alarmed. If USDOE doesn't grant another extension and the funds aren't obligated by the September 30th deadline, DOE must return the remaining funds. Meanwhile, Senator Chris Duenas was most concerned that DOE failed to look into his recommendation. In the past, the Guam Energy Office worked with the Guam Power Authority on a memorandum of understanding to obligate funds in a timely manner. Once the MOU was signed, the federal government considered it an obligation of funds. In terms of DOE, this vehicle could be used to purchase energy-efficient air conditioning units. DOE's third-party fiduciary recommended otherwise, Leah Beauvais of Alvarez and Marcel. We are required to see, see that when funds are obligated, that there is a competitive process that exists. Short of a competitive process, we would need to see that there is some specific legislation that allows for that particular procurement vehicle to be utilized. And short of that, we, were not, we did not feel comfortable as signers related to the trust in allowing that GPA vehicle to be utilized. Senator Ben Pengelinan disagreed with Senator Chris Duenas. After all, the GPA vehicle would give GPA a 3% cut. I don't think we're going to lose $23 million. I think that the governor well. has made the request to, to, uh, to extend. I think we wait for that. We continue to push forward on getting out these bids, getting out the, the RFPs, doing uh, what is necessary getting everybody in the loop. Bovey awaits a response so, from Christine so then, Jackson of USDOE's USD risk management on when USDOE will respond to the governor's request for an extension. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.